Welcome to Noon Hour Slides from the Moose Jaw Museum and Art Gallery. We're located on Treaty 4 territory, the traditional lands of the Blackfoot, Cree, Ojibwe, Soto, Dakota, Nakota, Lakota, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. We pay our respects to First Nations and Métis ancestors and reaffirm our relationship with one another. We gratefully acknowledge funding from the City of Moose Jaw, Sask Arts, Sask Culture, Saskatchewan Lotteries, Canada Council for the Arts, Canadian Heritage, and the Government of Canada. I'm Vincent Hotelling, the Administrative Assistant here, and I'm here to welcome you to today's presentation. Stuart Anderson is here to show us some scenic highlights from around the province from his Facebook group, Saskatchewan Scenery. Welcome. Okay. Um, I started this group about six years ago, mainly because uh, there was so much negative response to Saskatchewan being flat and not seeing anything. And I was hoping for maybe a couple of hundred or a thousand um, people to come into this thing. And we're bordering on 43,000 people now. So that it's, uh, it's gone pretty good. It's pretty well worldwide. There's some people that have never seen Saskatchewan and a lot of them can't even pronounce it. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy what I have to offer here. Here is a uh, nice aura. Um, Aurora Borealis was very, very nice. And this portion in the, that's really bright is uh, a phenomenon named uh, Steve, which is a strong thermal emission velocity enhancement. And it appears as purple and green light ribbon in the sky. And it's about 450 kilometers above earth and the temperature of about 3000 degrees Celsius. So it, it's it's pretty warm. And here's, here's just a bald prairie with a tree and a, and a green elevator in the background. And uh, I thought it looked quite, quite interesting. So I, I take photos of this kind of stuff. And this is a, a small bridge just uh, west of Moose Jaw. And the, the small black things you see flying around there, those are, those are birds, uh, blackbirds. We just about got mobbed. Uh, going over this thing, they 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 live in the in the bushes there. And there there were just millions of them all over the place. And this is in uh, Hafford, Saskatchewan. I, I took a trip up there several years ago. It's a Ukrainian-based town, and they're very 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 um, uh, impressed and proud of their Ukrainian heritage. It was on the way to the the crooked bush. And I'll, I'll get photos of those too. And this this is a super nice photo. I just don't know who in the heck uh, uh, made this photo, but I think this is in, um, well, it's on the Coppell Valley. I, I just forget the name of the, uh, the town. It's very, very picturesque. And here's a, a, a photo just someone took of uh, nice reflection of a tree and a water and an old barn and they turned into a black and white and it's uh, it's quite interesting. And here's just a, a photo in, in Moose Jaw taken from the pavilion on, on uh, Plaxton's Lake and the CNR trestle across the top there and potash um, uh, rail cars and nice reflection in, in the water and the, uh, the old smokestack from the uh, National Light and Power Company. They used to be here oh, a long, long time ago, 30s or so. And this is Albert Binks McCallum. He, he was in, uh, um, I think it was in Wascana, where he, he was taking this, this photo from. Nice, nice uh, colors in the water. And here is Anita Brzezinski. I, I, not too sure where she took this from, but it's, uh, it's a really nice photo with a whole bunch of uh, various colors and nice, nice crocuses in, in, the, in the front. And here we are in the Cypress Hills, and this is done by Barbara Krushaluki. And this is the uh, conglomerate hills. I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later, but there's lots to see in the, in the Cypress Hills area. And this is a, a, one of the trails in, in, uh, in Cypress Hills. I think it's a heritage trail. 
uh, again, uh, made by Barbara Cruz Liqui. And here she is in Waskana Park in, in Regina. Uh, just uh, very, very nice, very nice scene. Lots of different colors. And an old, old house way out in the middle of nowhere with uh, might have been a, a, quite a prominent family. They have two fireplaces, two smokestacks there anyway, and an old car sitting in the, in the background there. And this is Barry Fritzke. This is in uh, Lac Pelche. This is a, just a beautiful car color with a uh, nice, nice reflection of the, uh, of the trees in, in the buildings and the hills. Wish I could say I took this photo, but I didn't. And th this is one that I've, uh, it's sitting in a beach in Moose Jaw and it was such a nice calm day. And uh, I had this, I, I printed my own photos and I, I framed it and I hung it in my, my house. And about two weeks later, I decided, oh, this blaster thing is upside down. Sure enough, it was, it was hung upside down. Anyway, this uh, poor seagull there, he, everybody else is gone on a, a nickname Heathcliff, as in red, red skeletons, all seagulls. And there's some nice crocuses by uh, Billy Kwan. Beautiful color in, the, in this, this thing. And Brian Quigley, I'm, I'm not too sure where he took this from. It's uh, kind of a fisheye lens on his on his camera, but it, it's just absolutely beautiful. And here's Cam Barlow in, uh, I think this is in Beachy, Saskatchewan, uh, the sand hills. Lots of erosion back in 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 the times. And the coach and lighthouse. And you had to be in the right place at the right time to get the, the lightning. It must have been taken with a sensor, a light sensor at, at some time. Set, a phone set, a camera set up on a tripod and tripod. And there's the stairs up to the uh, coach and lighthouse. And it's, it's the only lighthouse in Saskatchewan. And it's up really up on a high hill. And it, if we ever get enough water in here and we need that thing, boy, we are in deep trouble. And Colin Chatsfield is a professional photographer out of Saskatoon, I believe. And this was taken in, in Claybank. A nice structure of the, of the Milky Way. And another Aurora Borealis. This uh, Saskatchewan is about the, the best place in the world for night photography or Aurora Borealis because there's no not as much light pollution as in the rest of the world. And all you have to do is just go outside and look up for an, on a nice clear night. Frosty night is, is the best time, time for it. And here we are in, in Crooked Bush. It's a a grove of aspen trees that uh, the universities and, and whatnot of uh, various places have studied these things and they can't figure out why in the heck they are uh, bent and, and twisted like this. They're just a, another grove just across the, the road from this place and it, they're just as straight as an arrow. Um, universities have taken cuttings and whatnot and they've grown them and they the the, uh, the product that comes up out of the ground is just as bent as what these are. There's a lot of uh, rumor going around about aliens stopping and uh, radiation and all this kind of stuff, but it's it's quite an interesting phenomenon. When I was there, there there was not one bird in in the uh, in the area in the in the bush, and animals completely shun this place. Uh, there's something. Something spooky going on in there, but they're, they're they're quite an interesting place. I'd hate to go there in the dark.
and the people must have, that have built this thing have a, what a, a weird sense of humor. The line says, stay on the track, stay on the path. Well, they, <laughs> that, this kind of seems kind of strange. And here we are on Township Road 452. I don't know what the uh, other coordinates are, but it says Crooked Bush. And this is about the best sign that they've got uh, following to this bush. And then there's the, the sign there and someone has practiced his shotgun out on it. It's on, on private land. It's not, not government funded or it's a completely private enterprise. And this is on Stanley Mission, one of the, one of the waterfalls up there made by Danielle and me St in, in uh, Stanley Mission. Um, I don't think this, this falls ever freezes and if it does, it's very, very rare. And here's this, just a nice, nice view of what most Saskatchewan people think or know that's in Saskatchewan, uh, beautiful hills and a nice straight road um, farming uh, community and cattle in the background. I think they're cattle. I don't imagine they're buffalo. Fence posts and telephone lines. And this <laughs> this was taken in in North Battleford, Saskatchewan. It's their their water tower, and it's lit up. I don't know whether it was lit up for Christmas or whether it's always lit up like this, but it was a nice uh, foggy night. And it, it looks like it's we're being invaded by the Star Wars or, or somebody. And this is on, on the Port of Redway, just up out of the States into Saskatchewan. And this M, I uh, can't think of what the heck they're called, Amalisk or something like that. Uh, they're saying that I was here. And these are the, uh, sand hills up in northern Saskatchewan. Millions of years ago, all of Saskatchewan was part of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's why all these uh, various hills are, are around. And another, Dree Urban was in Pine House Lake, and he made this beautiful image of the Aurora Borealis. He's actually a, a registered nurse and he works in the EMTs up, up north there somewhere. And he was quite concerned about uh, the, the kids not having anything to do. So he started a, a club. He supplied all the kids with cameras and laptops and he's teaching them all about photography. And it's, it's going over very well, very well. Very, very proud of him. And here he is again with a uh, timer on a thing and a nice, nice Aurora Borealis. Oh, and this, I'll talk about this uh, right now. This, these, this painting is original on the, under the Fourth Avenue Bridge. And it was made, I think in about 1914 or 1921 was the, when the bridge was taken, uh, built. And you can actually see the individual bus, brush strokes on this thing that and they used some super good paint to last all these years, 100 years. And Aaron Marchuk just took a nice photo of a, a bit of an island and some cat cattails. And here Shar is again. And she also took an old photo of an old house. And again, this must have been a really prominent place because it's got two chimneys. Um, there was a, a porch. Um, for people to come out and set and ponder their their days or some things. And this is one I took, it's an uh, old abandoned farmhouse and the yellow placard on there means that it's been um, placed with uh, some kind of a uh, rodent deterrent is, has been placed in there, roast rat killer or something like that. And there is another one I, I took, I like these old houses like this. You can just drive by them on, on the roads and 
if it's private property, of course, you don't go in. You can just look right from the road and take nice, nice photos of them. And here's uh, Gary Blake with the Oreo cattle. I, I forget what the heck these guys are called. There's not many of them in Saskatchewan. I saw the whole bunch of them in, in Tennessee when I was down there. And this is in Hefford, Saskatchewan. They, they built this great big memorial to the uh, pioneers of Hefford, Saskatchewan. And it, they've got whatever they've done, their um, ver various drawings and someone has, has cut these things out of, out of metal. And there's a, one of the churches in, in Hefford, Saskatchewan. And there, there's a, a larger a view of this memorial that the, that's been up there in Hafford, Saskatchewan. And this this hardware store, this, it kind of uh, made me kind of a little bit funny. Of course, it's closed, but uh, when I was working in Edmonton, I worked with a guy by the name of Rebrenna, Matt Rebrenna. And it just struck me as kind of funny. And this is a, a street sign in Hafford. And you can see that the uh, the blue portion is in Ukrainian, means First Avenue. They're very proud of their Ukrainian heritage. There's Second Avenue and Main Street. <laughs> There's another one that says Main Street. Another, another portion of the memorial. And there's there's a larger view of the languages. And here's a view from Saskatoon. I forget who in the heck took this photo, but it's a uh, it's nice nice composure. Lots to see in there. And another another view of the of the same bridge. This is, uh, I believe this is Nostoliak Falls again. And there's a, there's a, it must have been really, really cold up there because it uh, thorn some of the ice, some of the falls are frozen. And I took this photo just um, northwest of Rollo a little bit. It, uh, just the coloration of, of the building and the, the, uh, the sun. And uh, I thought it was quite nice. And this is underneath the Fourth Avenue Bridge in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. And you can see the uh, architecture or the paintings on these columns. And like I say, this is from 1914 or 1921. I'm just not too sure of the actual dates on it. I am, I'm not really too sure where in the heck this is taken from. I think it's in um, east of town. It's it's quite a prominent uh, horse place, boarding and training horses. And then we get down to Castle Butte where these huge uh, formations are. Well, they're not a formation, they're, they're what's left from the Ice Age. This thing is pretty darn tall. I mean, there were people that walked up, climbed up on top of it, but I, not me. And of course, the graffiti artists got to get in there. There are two bits in there too. And if you look in the, in the kind of the center of the bottom there, you can see a rope and you can go in there and kind of manhandle or climb up this rope, but I'm uh, claustrophobic. And I, I said, no thanks, I'll just stick right out here and I'll just look from the outside. And 
but they're quite interesting formations. I think this is a petrified tree. I could be wrong, but it sure looks like a petrified tree. The rocks and, and muds have fallen down with uh, rains. That was just a few bushes that were around the foot of this uh, structure. And this little guy in the center here almost looks like the Pokemon. And wolves climb up here and they, they whelp their pups up in here. This keeps them away from all the predators and other things that might, might harm them. And there's the Holbrook Ranch. That's where this Castle Butte formation is. And it's closed around this time of the year for calving season. They don't want the calves bothered with tourists. There's the pens. And uh, back in the hills there, there's a place where Butch Cassidy and his Sundance Kid and whatnot, and those guys supposedly hung out uh, a great big hole in the wall that they built. And the Willow Bunch muddy, big muddy trail. Now we're in uh, Cypress Hills. And here's the conglomerate hills. Uh, that was caused from ice age erosion and uh, rolling these. St kind of small stones and making them nice and round and then uh, they'd all mixed with uh, clay and gravels and and stuff and it, it's quite quite a solid structure but it's uh, it's quite fragile and it's well it's probably millions of years old there's a bigger chunk of it there It looks like cement in there. And of course, everybody knows where this is. This is in Roller, Saskatchewan, and uh, Corner Gas <laughs> was quite a thing. The uh, the building is is no longer there. It was uh, getting to be uh, in pretty bad shape, and people were vandalizing it. So they tore it down, and it's just a empty lot right now. And there's a there's a bigger picture of uh, of Castle Butte. And of course, we have to go to Craven, Saskatchewan for this is a the, the jamboree. And this is one pretty big guitar. I think this one lights up by the looks of it. It was there in the daytime, and it didn't uh, couldn't see any lights on it. And this is an old, I call it a Saskasaurus, and it's, I'm sure glad they're vegetarians because it doesn't let me really eat you. This is just northwest of Moose Jaw. An old wagon there. And this was taken in the, in Waccamaw Valley where the um, skate, speed skating oval was. It was a powwow. And my gosh, these people certainly got into the into the into the effect here. It is beautiful. Different costumes.
<laughs> this little little person here, all dooted up, ready ready to go. And this is uh, in Plaxton Lake in Moose Jaw. Nice, nice place for photos. <clears throat> Excuse me, another another shot of the of Plaxton's Lake along the walkway in the in the pavilion. And this is, I just thought this was quite artistic. This is in a, a place just east of Moose Jaw, next to the Knowles Motel. The fellow used to own a uh, five-star salvage and he, he collected some of this stuff. He's got a building, two buildings there with just full of antique uh, stuff. And here under, again under the Fourth Avenue Bridge and you can, you can see the pillars individual pillars. Each one of those things was hand painted. And again, uh, Nestoiac Falls. And here's an air bomber. There was a fire up north and there were someone was trying they were trying to put the, the fire out. This is a shot in one in a million shots. It's running out lots of water. I think this is a bridge in North Battleford. I could be mistaken. Giorgio Francisco uh, took this photo. And this is in Avonlea, Saskatchewan, if you can imagine, just south of Moostra a little bit. And there's these uh, dirt hills and stuffs in various, various areas of the province. This is on private land. You have to get uh, permission to go in and look at these. And there, there's just a nice sunset. And this is an old, uh, I think this is a, a cook shack for uh, threshing crews from in days gone by. And there's another beautiful Aurora Borealis with the, the Steve in there. And just a nice, Nice view of the uh, nice green pastures. And another one, Mary, Mary Whirl took these. I believe this is in the Cypress Hills area too. And Maureen Bondes made this in Echo Lake and just it looks like a little boat launch there. No birch tree. Nice coloration of this with the cattails in the foreground. And of course, we have to have all these uh, nice photos. Michael Saint Laurent, Flatlanders Photography, did this one. There's another one of Michael's. He's even got a, a picture, uh, looks like a comet in the upper right hand corner there. That one there. It was a time shot. And of course, the snowbirds. And Michael Sandlero did this one too. I don't know how the heck he got up there. Somebody held him on the ladder or something and got up there, take that nice photo. And you talk about being in the right place at the right time. Again, Michael St. Laurent done this, this one, and he had to have a, a device on his camera, whoops, wrong one, to 
uh, trigger the camera once the uh, lightning went off. And you just all the energy in there is hitting the ground. And this was in um, right behind the library in, in Crescent Park. It's a bit of a, a dance ceremony. I'll just play this for you. It's not very long. And here's uh, Miles Dim, Dim, Dim Trinko played this in a uh, photo. This photo was in a, again in Avonlea on private land. And here's an old, old, old cabin. And this is on Deception Lake. And Nancy Morasti took this photo. Uh, just imagine a, a trapper in there uh, with this line and uh, living for I don't know how long in there. It's quite a quite a unique building. And Norm Norm Fair took this one, I'm not too sure. I think it's in, in Regina area. And then Nipikamu Sand Hills again. This is in Saskatoon. The Besborough Hotel is just off to the right in this photo. Beautiful coloration. And uh, Pat, or Kat was trying for some nights from some star trails and she did a, a pretty darn good job. This is a time lapse photography. Must have been a, uh, 15 minutes or so that the shutter was open to take this amount of star, star trails. And this is one of mine, it's, it's taken from the pavilion facing the CPR station and Robin Hood Mills. And I'm not too sure where in the heck this was. I think this could have been in Cypress Hills with an exquisite photography. And another one in Saskatoon of a bridge. And you can see a, a beaver in the center of the photo there by Robert J made this. Roto Drozda made a nice, nice photo of this uh, uh, Ukrainian church, or Greek Orthodox, I guess it is. And Ryan Krauss is a storm hunter from York and Saskatchewan. These guys are absolutely nuts chasing after these these storms. They they just go through well hell and high water to get these photos. I, I'd have been cry, crawling, crying. This is in Regina, looking uh, off to uh, one of the islands in, in the Wascana Lake. This was taken in uh, Namibian Lake. This is one of the islands. It's a, such a huge lake with so many islands on it. 
I went up fishing there several times. And this was taken in in Cypress Hills. Um, I think someone was on, uh, I don't know, a survival course or something like this. And they stacked these things together. And it was, I, I've nicknamed this as uh, Saskatchewan's solitary confess. Sasquatch, solitary confinement. It'd be a great, great place for bears to hide and I didn't go poking around it or anything like that. And this is taken in Waska Sioux, whoops. Get back here, there. Beautiful coloration there, just out walking around. You have to get off the beaten path to find these things. And in Saskatoon again, boy, look at how slippery those those uh, streets are. Well, five photography did this. And an old, old, old wagon. See lots of those out around there, around the countryside. Just a nice view of the of the valleys. Another aurora borealis. And there is a, the most photographed church in Saskatchewan. It's a beautiful little place and it looks quite out of place with, with the coloration of the rest of the valley. And I took this photo in, uh, well, it's it's all Waccamaw Valley, but this is just off the end of the 7th Avenue Bridge that they're repairing right now. And it's uh, it, it was in full bloom then and it, I did, I, whoops, I hardly did any editing on this at all, other than putting my name in the bottom of it. And Wandering Whimsy, Chris Rasmussen, uh, they went for a, a tour out around Old Wives, Old Wives Lake Nature Area, and that's the uh, um, Alkali Lake. Sometimes it's completely dry, other times there is some water in it, and it's the end of a military training base from the Second World War. And there are, they have found um, various aircraft and, and vehicles in the lake. And just a nice, nice photo of my, uh, Mary Worrell. And that's all I've got today, folks. It's uh, kind of short, but I hope you enjoyed what I, I did have to, to show you.